Hello friends. You'd like to know as to how we stumbled upon getting to know that light is interfering over the ground water zones. So wherever ground water zones were there there was an interference of light. That was the perception which we had got. And how did we get this perception? On a monsoon day when rains had just got over on a monsoon day when the rains had just got over and it was just twilight in the evening we found that the headlights of the vehicles passing at a particular point they turned out into say rainbow or had a dispersion which was there now this dispersion was a bit uh, normal or we didn't think of it at any moment of time so i asked uh, my friend uh, nanda kumar who is a physicist i asked him whether you are seeing what i am seeing it so we waited at one particular place and i told him to observe the headlamp of the vehicles coming on that particular road and what did we observe that dispersion was happening of the light at a particular point when the vehicle passed that place nanda kumar also observed the same observation he also said that it may be some sort of dispersion which is happening then i thought that it may be because of my specs i removed the specs again saw it and we found that the dispersion is still occurring as if it has turned out into seven colors at that particular moment and that particular patch itself so that was another triggering point we discussed with nanda kumar ki how can this happen he said that there when there were there are dis- disturbances whenever there are disturbances for a light which is passing through a particular field dispersion occurs so after some time we went in over there with our l rods and saw whether at that particular place we are getting some reaction and to our surprise we found that we got a reaction exactly where the dispersion was happening now this triggered an important part of research on which nanda kumar worked further for his phd for that in the initial stages what we did was we took a lamp in a closed box and had a sensor at the other side and could like to check whether there was dispersion in that particular box or not when keeping on the ground water vein and away from the ground water vein we couldn't get any results then we discussed whether we can have different light sources and in this way we tumbled upon having a laser source a laser source which is passing light and a photo sensor on the other end which was receiving that light and which we could measure in terms of certain numbers we could measure in terms of currents and so on so after about 6 months of rigorous work we found that we can have laser light which will go on a photodiode and on this photodiode if it is connected to some display unit or some current measuring device we found that there has been some changes in the laser reading on the ground water vein zone and off the ground water vein zones there was drastic change to the extent of about 10 to 15% now that itself gave us a proof that yes dowsing really works then over a period of time we developed that instrument called it as now meter wherein in a is for nanda kumar and av is for avinash and we developed this particular device got a lot of readings on different different places and published a paper in current science
just to give an evidence that scientifically we have found that wherever groundwater veins are there, over there, there is a radiations. That radiations affect the laser light. The laser light may disperse or deviate. And in this particular manner, we found a major breakthrough for showing that groundwater veins emit some sort of radiations that can be measured with the help of this now meter. We have put it to the patient, the patient is pending, but then this triggered off a complete new vista of research and at, up till now we have located many groundwater veins plus bore wells with the help of this now meter. In fact, it is a total new concept for detecting whatever the groundwater radiations are there. These radiations, whether they are magnetic, electromagnetic or some other sort, the study is going on. But the fact remains that on a groundwater vein, when we are standing or using some sort of an equipment, we find that changes are happening. Now that's a great thing which turns out to be basis for some of the findings which our ancient people had identified that by locating the position of well they could be able to tell as to what would it have what would be the effect on the persons who are dwelling in that particular area. So friends that becomes an interesting topic and this presence of groundwater vein can be detected by simple tools like the L rod for which you can take up a course or see our videos. Thank you very much for your time.